Good afternoon. I am Pastor John. I'm from Apostolic Pentecostal Lighthouse to the World. You can also catch me on YouTube at Apostolic Pentecostal Lighthouse to the World. How's everyone doing this afternoon? Uh, thank y'all for joining me. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm going to get right into my Bible study. I titled this one, God Loves Dogs. And this has to do with the, uh, with the Canaanite woman. I'm going to get into my Bible study from Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 through 22. And Jesus went out. No, no, sorry, sorry, wrong one. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 through 22. And Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And there, behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region. I mean, she came from that town. And she cried to him, saying, uh, she cried to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, the son of David. My daughter is severely possessed with a demon. This, this, is, this is a mother's heart. You know, really a mother's heart. She, she's not really going out there for herself. So I'm not requesting prayer for me. My daughter is possessed with the devil. My daughter, my, 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 my little offspring, she's possessed with, a, with, 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 uh, with the devil. And, and so I'm not coming to you for me. I'm coming to, to you for somebody I love, I really care about. And that's what her, her petition was about. And so, and he, and here's the thing, and he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, send her away, for she cries after us. Jesus did not answer a, a word. Jesus did not answer her prayer request right then and there. You know, we we'll always say the teacher is silent during the test. But here, Jesus did not answer. He said, why? Because sometimes Jesus wants to see how desperate you are. Uh, 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 okay, because I didn't, I, I did not answer your prayer right now. Are you still going to be persistent? Are you still going to, are you still going to pray? You know, for it. Are you still going to pray for her because you did not get your prayer uh, answered right then and there? You know, God tests us. He really tests us, like like the uh, like the woman with the unjust judge. You know, the Bible said because her persistence. In the, in, because her constantly wearing down the judge that he gave in. He gave in to her petition. And we gotta we get like that, we gotta get like that with God too. Hey, because God didn't answer it today, still pray about it. Even fast about it. Throw some fasting in there. Because he did not answer it right then and there. You know, he's testing us to see if we still gonna pray, if we still gonna if we're still gonna seek him. You know, here's another one. In Mark chapter 4, verses 38 through 40. He was in the stern asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Master, do you not care that we are perishing? And when he arose, he rebuked the wind and the sea. He said, Peace be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. He said to them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Here, Jesus was asleep in the boat. It, that, there's, a, there's a test. There's a storm coming at them. And here, Jesus is asleep in the boat. and showing us sometimes too, hey, there's storms that's going to come, and we just need to rest. We need to do like Jesus did. Go, go in the boat and take a nap, and don't worry about it because God is in the boat with you. He is in the storm with you. He's not going to let you perish. He's not going to let you die. You know, he's not going to let you drown, especially if he's got a mission and something for you out to, to carry. He's not going to let you drown. Matthew chapter 5 verses 20, 15 verses 24. And he answered and said, I was not sent except for the lost sheep of Israel. Here's another thing. It's like, I, I'm not sent for you right now, lady. You know, but it, 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 yeah, thank God he did. You know, but he said right now, I'm not sent for you. You know, and said, I'm sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I'm sent 
for the Jews. The Gentiles, you're going to get your turn. You will. You know, and we did get our turn. I thank God that we did get our turn because we are the Gentiles. And he answered and said, I mean, uh, Luke chapter 9, verses 10, for the son of man had come to, say, to seek and to save that which was lost. Thank God he did. I thank God that he came to seek his lost sheep because we're always his lost sheep. Because, you know, thank God that he did. Because he even said in John chapter 10, verses 16, and other sheep I have, which is us. We were the other sheep that he had. We were the Gentiles, which are not of this fold, which are not of the Jews, which is of the Gentiles. We are not of this fold. And I also must bring them. I also must bring, and they will hear my voice and will be one flock and one shepherd. Again, we're one body. You know, Jews and Gentiles alike. We are one body because we got one shepherd. That one shepherd is Jesus Christ. That one shepherd is God. So Jews and Gentiles alike, we serve the one God. We serve the one shepherd. And so he said, yeah, he had to bring us in. He had to graft us in because the Bible said we were grafted in. And this happened in Acts chapter 2. I mean, Acts chapter 10, verses 44 through 48. The household of Cornelius. Cornelius was a Gentile. The Bible says his alms, his prayers went up before God as a memorial. So God took notice of Cornelius' prayers. And so, and he also sent for Peter. Peter was a Jew. Peter, he, he gave Peter this vision of all the unclean things. We were considered the unclean. We were considered the dogs. We were considered the swine, as, as I'm going to get into later. And, he, so, and Peter said, no, hey, no unclean have, have never touched my lips. But here's what God said. What I, what I cleanse, what God has cleansed, let no man call unclean. God has cleansed us Gentiles. He's cleansed us filthy dogs. You know, the, the Bible talks about a dog returning, returning to his vomit. But guess what? We was, that, we, we was that dog. We returned to our vomit. You know, though as gross and disgusting as it may sound. But guess what? God cleansed this dog. He cleansed us with his blood. He said, what he have cleansed, what he have cleaned, let no man call him common. And while Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell on all those who heard the word. And those of the circumcision, meaning the Jew, who believed they were astonished. As many as came with Peter, because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles, which is us. Thank God for Acts chapter. I, ask, I thank God for Acts chapter two, but I also thank thank God for Acts chapter ten because that's where we got. That's where we came in the picture. That's where we came in the picture. That's where the Holy Ghost got poured on us. For they heard them speak in tongues and magnifying God. That's how Peter knew that they got the Holy Ghost people because they heard them speak in tongues just like they did, and say, "Can anyone forbid that those?" should not be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, just like they were, and have received the Holy Spirit just as we have. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the only saving name. That is the only redeeming name. That is the only name that could wash away your sins. And they asked him, to stay a few days. Hey, Peter, can you stay a few days? Maybe they wanted to hear some more preaching. Maybe they wanted to hear some more about Jesus. But he said, hey, can you stay a few days? Uh, Matthew chapter 15, verses 25 through 27. Mm. This woman is showing her persistence. Yeah, this is my daughter. And she came and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. Again, you're telling me now it's, it's not my time. It, it's not my time, but I'm still being persistent. God, help me. Help me, God. But he answered and said, It's not good to take that which is the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. Now, he's calling her a dog. How many people would have felt insulted? But guess what? We were the dogs. Like I said, we were those dogs. The dogs were considered unclean. You know, I, I, I got, as you can see on my profile, I got three fur babies. I love my fur babies, you know. But even she said, even the dogs get the crumbs from the master's table. 
I've seen videos on TikTok lately about people letting their dogs eat at their table for the holidays. And I, don't get me wrong, I'll be like her. Uh, I'll feed my dog under the table, sitting at the table, that's, that's different. But here, here's another, another example. You know, even God loves his dogs. God loves dogs. He calls us up to sit at the table with him because we could be a part of the marriage supper of the lamb. He said, let's go to uh, 2 Samuel chapter 6, I mean 9 verses 6 through 8. Now, then Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, had came unto David and fell on his face and prostrated himself. Then David said, Mephibosheth, and he answered, here's your servant. So David said to him, do not fear, for I will show you kindness for Jonathan, your father's sake. I will restore to you all the land of Saul, your grandfather, and you will eat bread at my table continually. And here's what, here's what Mephibosheth says. He said, what is your servant that you shall look on such a dead dog? You know, because the Bible said Mephibosheth was lame. He was lame in his feet. Uh, I, I, I don't agree with that, that, that they would call him a dead dog, but, but, but here's the thing. We was dogs. And God says, look, hey, come sit at my table. You know, you know God loves dogs. And that's what I'm getting at. He loves dogs. And he said right here, you know, and God, God said, look, hey, is there any dogs out there I can pet? There's any dogs out there I can show love to? Is there any dogs out there I can show compassion on? Because here in 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 3, then the king said, Who's the king? The king of kings. I'm going to say the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Is there not still one in the house? Of, is there not still someone in the house of Saul that I may show kindness, the kindness of God? And Ziba said unto them, There is still the son of Jonathan who is lame in his feet. That's why he said he was a dead dog. He was lame in his feet. Hey, there's still someone that you can show kindness to. Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter. 5 verses 28. And Jesus said unto her, to her, O woman, great is your faith. So let it be as you desire. He was impressed with her faith. Let it be. Yeah, you, I, you're going to get your daughter's healed. Your daughter, and she was healed that very same hour. You know, God, like I said, God did not answer because God, God is going to test your faith. But eventually he'll come through. Eventually he'll come through. And when he does, it is immediately. It is speedily. It's gonna. It's it's instantaneously, and instantaneously healing. You know, he does not procrastinate. He does not put off. So here's the thing. He's saying, it, she was healed that very same hour. She was healed that very same hour. When? Maybe when she said, you know, I need your help. Maybe when she said, I need your help. Maybe when she said, hey. You know, but she, he was, she was healed that very same hour. Does anybody need any prayer requests? Please let me know. I thank you all for joining me. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the appreciation. If there's anybody need any prayer requests, you can either DM me or you can try to message me. I don't know what's the deal with my... I'm not really seeing too many comments. Uh, thank you. I thank you. I appreciate it. If y'all need any prayer requests, y'all can also message me outside the room. Y'all dismiss in the name of the Lord Jesus. Y'all have a blessed rest of y'all day. I thank y'all. I thank you for the likes. I appreciate it. I appreciate all these likes. Hmm.
Y'all dismiss in the name of the Lord Jesus. Y'all have a blessed rest of y'all day.